Hello learners, I Dr. Abha Sharma from GD Goenka University welcome you all to the NIOA studios. Today we are going to discuss on the topic prediction and observing for collecting information. The presentation is sequenced as follows. Introduction, predicting for getting di direction for observations, observing for collecting information and a note about observations. So, you very well know that observational data is a valuable form of research that can give researchers information that goes beyond number and statistics. In general, observation is a systematic way to collect data by observing people in natural situations or settings. Observation is the active acquisition of information from a primary source. In living beings, observation employs the senses. In sciences, observation can also involve the recording of data via the use of scientific instruments. The term may also refer to any data collection during the scientific activity. Observations can be qualitative that is only the absence or presence of a property is noted or quantitative if a numerical value is attached to the observed phenomena by counting or measuring. The scientific method requires observation of nature to formulate and test hypothesis. It consists of following steps asking a question about natural phenomena, making observation of the phenomena, hypothesizing an explanation for the phenomena, predicting logical observable consequences of the hypothesis that have not yet been investigated, testing the hypothesis, predictions by an experiment, observational study, field study or simulation, forming a conclusion from data gathered in the experiment or making a revised or a new hypothesis and repeating the process, writing out a description of the method of observation and the result or the conclusions reached, review of the results by peers with experience researching the same phenomena. Now, predicting for getting directions for observations. You predict the result on basis of evidence or past experiences. There are always a rational for prediction. Before doing any action, you predict the outcome to avoid the risks. On many occasions, children fail to explain basis for prediction, but they can be helped to articulate the related evidence or past experience. Now again the facilitator need to assist learners. Learners in the way they make predictions before carrying out any action, articulate rationale of the prediction, justify reliability of prediction with respect to particular situation. Now we will discuss some of the possible objective specifications related to the development of skill of prediction. See the learners will be able to articulate rationale for prediction in question, make explicit past experiences related to prediction, justify prediction on the basis of inductive conclusion etc. Here are some items designed to help you to invite learners to develop their capabilities to do prediction. Task 1. Observe the following table and enter correct alternative in the empty cell. Now this is the distance of planet from the days required to complete sun in kilometer one round. Mercury will take 50 8 into 107 and 88 days. Now Venus it takes 108 into 107 
and it takes near about 225 days. Earth takes 150 into 107 which comes out to be 1 year and Jupiter takes 780 into 107 which comes out to be 12 years. Uranus takes 2870 into 107 that comes out to be 84 years. Now this is an imaginary planet which takes 1430 into 107. Now you have to calculate how many days it is going to take and justify rationale for selecting a particular alternatives given above. This is task 2. Jitu and Willy are playing with two bar magnets of same length. They decided to tie two bars with opposite poles together and hang them on a wooden stand. In what directions will they get aligned to? Justify your prediction. Observing for collecting information. Many of the actions that are involved in scientific inquiry come into existence after keen observation of certain things. Due to this, a person becomes curious and sets out for inquiry. For scientific inquiry, one needs to raise questions, put forward hypotheses, do predictions, take measurements and these activities require one to observe situations deliberately and carefully. Decisions about observations is taken on the basis of previous knowledge and observations. Observations as process needed to conduct inquiry demands one to use all senses and collect relevant information with respect to the hypothesis. For observing details of relevant aspects, sometimes specific instruments are needed. For example, if a question is how long does it take for a lump of jaggery to get dissolved in cold and hot water. At elementary level, learners can be helped to invent crude methods for measuring things. Learners are needed to design a method of observation. Thus, there is a need to learn to decide purpose of observation. If one wants to observe earthworm engaged in the process of vermicomposting, a particular type of arrangement is needed. For example, can we put the sample in large cold drink bottle or do we need a transparent bucket to do this? Processes of observation is completed with the process of documentation. So, documenting the observations and organizing gathered information comprehensively is also an important skill. Documentation skill involves noting date, time and duration of observation, placing the sample in a proper position to get useful perspective, sketching, label drawing of the sample dissected living plant or animal, taking sections of different kinds with different purpose, creating a useful table, make a label diagram or a drawing of arrangement of experimental equipments, develop appropriate tables, etc. In order to develop these capacities, facilitators need to assist learners to decide purpose method and place of observation, make detailed and focused observation, make them talk about their observations and share it with others, be critical while evaluating these observations and make a plan for documenting these observations. A note about observations, there is a tendency in all persons to see what one expects to see. One must remain alert about the influence of preconceived ideas in our observations. Many times preconceived ideas prove to be a hurdle in our observation. They either blind you from seeing new aspect 
that remain unnoticed or you can fail to remain open for observing what comes in your ways without restricting yourself to certain perspective. Learners should be helped to remain alert with respect to this problem. With this information about observation process, now it is easier for you to decide the objective specification for the same. Use all the possible senses for gathering the information. Identify differences and similarities, different events and objects. Identify critical features of events or objects. Decide the procedure of observations, documents, the observations, etc. After writing objective specifications, you are in position to devise the tasks. Task 1. Look carefully at the sketches of a spider and an ant on the basis of these. Pictures list three similarities and three differences between these insects. Task 2. Sonu put some seeds in water for eight hours. She was expecting them to sprout. After separating them from water, she found that only some seeds have absorbed water and other remained hard. Now she wants to collect evidence for the hypothesis that are listed below. What details should she observe and how with respect to each hypothesis explain in detail? Hypothesis what needs to how should it be observed? There is no hole for water to enter inside the seed. The seed coat is not made up of absorbent material. The seed is dead and so it did not absorb water. The temperature of water was not soothing to the seed for the generation. So students, we have discussed about predicting for getting directions for observations, observing for collecting information and a note about observation. Thank you for listening.